Hi guys, welcome back to another Matter Chatter's video. Myself, Liam. Today, this is going to be so pointless. So I apologize in advance. You know the outcome of this one, but you're going to watch it anyway because you guys are pretty awesome for watching this stuff. Uh, infected Broodmother against Normal <laughs> Broodmother. And the reason why I'm laughing is just because it's so pointless. We know what's going to happen, but I'm going to do it anyway. There goes the armor. <laughs> that is so cool. I mainly want to do it just because it looks so cool seeing this like absolute monstrosity of a broodmother fighting a normal broodmother. Is it bigger or are they the same size? Uh, no, I think they're roughly the same size. I, obviously the infected one looks a little bigger because it's got all the weird like jism on, on his body. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the broodmother has less than half of his health. At the moment, they both have very, very similar attacks. Like, they look, it just looks like a retextured broodmother, which is, it is what it is, a retextured broodmother. Just going at a normal broodmother, doing the exact same attacks, like nothing looks that different. So it's fairly boring in that aspect. We have a knockout already, a little stun. A little stun by the old original, the OG. Go on, get her. Go on, they definitely sped up that attack. That attack is so much more quicker. It's mainly just to see how long the original broodmother will last, really. Like, will it hold up? Will it do something different? against the infected. Can you imagine if it won? Can you imagine if the original one beat the infected one? That'd be insane. Do you like, do I add this? Do I, I was gonna add the Broodmother into the Gladiator Challenge. If you don't know what that is, go and check it out on the channel. There's a trailer. I'll put the link in the description or, or in the end titles or something like that. I'll put the um, video there. But yeah, also, if you haven't seen it, there are videos on the Gladiator Challenge, but I'm doing a new Gladiator Challenge and I did a vote with you guys because I, I, I want as much feedback from you guys as I can. And most of you voted that you didn't want the Broodmother in place of the Broodmother, you would rather have a Termite King over a Broodmother, uh, which was which was kind of cool. So obviously I put the Termite King in there, but now obviously they've added another boss, which I'm, I'm unsure if I want to add this into the, the Gladiator Challenge just because it's so difficult. Like the bosses that are in there already are hard enough with the Wasp. Like I had to hold it off. I was like, right, I'll hold it off and I'll add the Wasp, the wasp Queen in, added the Wasp Queen in. And now that I'm thinking about doing it again, they've added the Infected Broodmother. And it's like, do I add that in? Don't I add that in? I'm still unsure. So you guys give me some feedback. If you would like to fight it, I guess I could just shoehorn it in instead. Which is annoying because I got rid of the Infected class as well. I had an Infected class and the best one was the Infected Full Spider. Imagine going into the Infected. Like, this isn't even in the bosses. This doesn't make the bosses. This goes into a different one. It goes into Infected. So you already have some difficult bosses. But then in Infected, you have this absolute beast here. It'd be mental, but... You know, we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. I do admire the amount of, like, <laughs> effort and detail they went into on the spider's butt butthole. Like, they, there's so much detail has gone into that one there, so... <laughs> we really appreciate that one, Obsidian. Thanks for that. Why is the original Broodmother getting in so many knockout blows against, against the infected? This is like Master meets Student or something like that. But the student's too too afraid to unleash his full potential and the original master is just like owning it at this point with like these really original attacks that are all like outdated and boring but they do so much damage it's that shocked me i know obviously it's going to come back to life yeah which is what gives it the upper hand but that actually shocked me Right, so fight one goes to the original Boom Mother. But now let's see if it can hold up in fight two. <laughs> this is where it, 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 its downfall starts. Oh, how much long will the Boom Mother be able to put up with this torment? This torment from its infected counterpart? I don't know, but... You know, it got the first it got the first knockdown in there. It took it down. It took it down to its first, first life. But now I feel like the infected one will take the win just because... It has like two lives, it has multiple lives. Ridiculous. I like it though, like a massive like troll, like, oh, you think you've defeated it? Because if you don't know about this, when I first spawned it in, I was like, what? What's going on? Why can't I pick up its body parts? And then it just like twitches and resurrects. Like, if you don't know about that, it's really cool, like little little thing they've added in there just, just to throw you off and be like, oh damn, I thought I'd, I thought I'd won this. But no, never. The Broodmother is lasting longer than I thought. Way longer than I thought she would. Ah, no. Poor, poor Mrs. Broodmother. What are you looking at? What are you looking at me for? You want a piece of this, do you? Come on, then. Uh, It still has a fair amount of health left. A fair amount of health. But the Broodmother did take it down like this. This little bit and another one on top of that because it took a death. But, um... Congratulations, Infected. Congratulations. You win this one, my friend. You win this one. Until next time. 
until next time.